And welcome back to a Euro Truck Simulator 2. I forgot the name of the game. Uh, we still got a few days and just trying to help out with some of the uh, cities getting some of the closer to their stars. Uh, we actually haven't driven, I don't think, since Christmas. And today's like January 7th, so. But we haven't been feeling real well either. <sighs> Short of breath, coughing all the time, nasty cold. Uh, so we got a job going from Kalmar, Sweden, to Stockholm, Sweden. Both are no star cities or no big star cities. <clears throat> Standard 16,523 euros. Again, carrying lit. Or, <sighs> Gifts. Three hundred and twenty one kilometers, five hours and twenty four minutes. Going from GNT in uh, Calabar to Norfood, Stockholm. Must be fish gifts. <coughs> Standard delivery. Let's resume our delivery. But I was saying, I just did a drive in an American truck, and I was talking about assets and things. Let's uh, actually shut the truck off for a second. <clears throat> and this is, I believe, a building from American truck. And I want to say it's Tesla. I could be wrong. But uh, I was talking about being whether you know, Idaho is the next part for American truck, and uh, Iberia, Iberia, Iberia Peninsula, something like that is the next part for uh, Euro truck, and uh, about creating assets. Let's start her up. Let's get on the road. Back in the cab. Uh, let's see. Put it in here. Take off the rig. And it kind of makes sense, like an American truck. How <clears throat> they can borrow. That they, by doing what they're doing with the states and American truck, they can go and they don't have to create a huge amount of new assets to make the next state. They can borrow from other states and create part of the state without having a whole new asset thing. When they go into Idaho, they'll be able to introduce <coughs> excuse me they'll be able to borrow from like western Washington, western Oregon to create the logging industries that they have here. Uh, what time is it? No, nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, you get into southern Idaho, and it's more like uh, eastern Washington, eastern Oregon, desertish. Or yeah, it's it's not. Well, it is. It's a high high altitude desert or something like that. Trying to. Turn right. Working on it. But yeah, there's just certain assets at a certain point, and once they start getting into the eastern United States, okay. Once they get into the eastern part of the United States, they can borrow assets from uh, 
now. Euro truck. Because eastern, western United States is a lot of evergreens. Uh, as you get into eastern United States, it's more deciduous or, or uh, leaf bearing trees. So they can borrow bits from here. Well, maybe not here. This Keep right and then turn right. Oh. Turn right. There's a lot of evergreens. But if you get in certain parts, there's there's a lot of uh, deciduous trees. And they can borrow that and bring it into an American truck. They've borrowed some parts now. I've seen like the place we just left from. I think the first place I saw that, there's several of them in American truck. And I'm thinking they're Tesla, Tesla buildings, but I'm not positive. We'll see if we can get this load without falling over on our side or anything. Well, first of all, we gotta see if we get through the light. Yay! Okay. Never having been to Europe, please mind the speed. Never been to Europe. Uh, you know, I I have no idea if pictures. Yeah, okay, it's kind of close, sort of. Uh, I don't know how close the countryside is. I don't know how close the cities are. Well, I know the, the cities are... I don't know. I don't know. I know that <clears throat> it's been so long since I've been to places in California and Oregon and Arizona, New Mexico, Nevada that uh, I wasn't sure if these were actual landmarks. But when I got into Washington, there were certain certain things that was uh, in Everett. There's a cement plant or cement storage thing. Some of the streets looked kind of familiar. Uh, Seattle, going through downtown, uh, Olympia, the uh, the Capitol Dome, uh, Kennewick was the. Uh, um, Oh, the cable bridge. I never went across the blue bridge in the game yet. Uh, and there are a couple buildings right there that are there in real life. Uh, Spokane, a couple of, a couple items that kind of stood out. Caution. Please watch the speed limit. Oh, uh, outside of Yakima, they're at Ellensburg ish. The truck stop and things, things that look familiar. And here in Europe, I have no idea. I haven't been to any places. I know that London has a couple of buildings. Uh, um, went to Rome when I drove around Rome in the game. You're all kind of an industrial area, so there is no. There's no Colosseum, there's no, um, <sighs> none of the sites that I've not really came to expect, but were kind of, maybe would be there, uh, in the background somewhere, and if they were, I didn't see them, 
Um, But going back to American Truck Simulator, uh, I don't know if any of you watching this have ever played it, but if you do, if you're going over like from Seattle to Wenatchee or Everett to Wenatchee, Caution. Please mind the speed. Um, are you going over from the western side of Washington, eastern side of Washington? Any over any? <clears throat> over any of the passes that uh, it's just not <sighs> I've been over a lot and when you're going over still call me pass at certain times you spend almost your whole drive going over the uh, uh, in the left hand lane because the right hand lane is the right hand lane and the right hand shoulder are full of trucks going anywhere from 40 to 20 miles an hour coming up over the pass because it is steep and you know, straight on. don't get that impression from going over the pass that impression of climbing the only place and I said this in American Truck the only place is when you're coming like from Ontario and I, I think it's called Pendleton Hill. Uh, I'm not positive. But if you're coming down, there's a couple of places that have the truck escape uh, ramps and things there, which it does have. And it seems to be steeper than any place else. So, are you just going to... Maybe. Okay. Um... Uh, Probably gone, lost everything. So going through the Rockies, you have higher passes, but with higher passes, you also have higher elevations to start from. As to it, if you are climbing Mount Rainier in, in Washington State, you're starting out at sea level and you're going up 14,000 feet. When you're climbing Pikes Peak in Colorado, you're climbing to 14,000 feet, but you're starting out at six or 7,000 feet before you... See, this seems to have steeper hills than going over the passes in Washington. I might just take my picture here. Okay, so I just had to, had to do that. Take that picture there. But anyway, just my kind of thoughts as they build out. They're not going to have to. Not have to start somewhere like they did with California and create all the assets for... Caution. California. Watch the speed As they have to create less assets, the faster stuff will be able to come out. It's just making a decision on what cities do you include? What roads are important?
with Google Maps and other map making and photogrammetry type things. Get ready to turn left. Oh, oh, of course. Yeah. <sighs> Turn those back on. Oh, right here. Mm. Turn left. Get ready to turn right. Oh. And they interconnect, and the states interconnect. It's something to. So I like, well, let's go make Kansas. All right, now we make Kansas, let's make Vermont. Now that we did Vermont, let's do Florida. we do Florida, let's do Hawaii. You know, it's not going to be like that. I don't know if you ever get to go to Hawaii or Alaska. So let's both be getting on ferry boats for ever. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Big soccer ball in the middle of there. Exit now. I was watching somebody's video about the Iberian Peninsula, or Iberia, Iberian Peninsula, Iberia, whatever one it is making mention of some of the pictures there's ground cover there that's nowhere else in the game so again it's going to be something's going to take a while because it's something they have to create not something they can borrow from being discovered. Put that one a little quicker than I anticipated. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Okay. Exit now.
Keep right. Doing it. Keeping my right. Trying to accelerate, but my foot's, my thing's led away. here in probably a year real time. I forgot about the jets and stuff up here. Oh. Please mind the speed. In fact, I was thinking that was a pro mods add-on. Please watch the speed. I'm watching it. 85, 84, 83, 82, 80. 79. Right, let's step it up a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. I want to get around that truck. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, minding. Well, who? I guess we'll just fall in behind him. There we go. <laughs> he must have sped up. <laughs> we were doing 87 trying to get around him. And we're having a hard time at it. We fall in behind him at 79 and almost climb on top of him. Oops, oops, oops. Sorry, sorry. Go straight on. Straight on. So I guess it's the most talking I've done in quite a while. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Scania. Uh oh, oops. I hit the mouse with my cup.
Stockholm discovered. Exit. Right. Exiting right. I feel like I should probably... What is it? The Ikea... Oh, okay. Oh, there it is. Outdoor electronics, nor food. You have arrived at your destination. Your route guide is now finished. go for the points. You know, we are yeah, not horribly tired, but well, let's uh, now this is like going into Walmart in American truck. Put on, oops, put on our other backup light, backup camera. screwed this one up horribly. Yeah. I was afraid of hitting that post and I'm no better off now. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, I'm worse off than I was to start. Get ourselves a little more, a little more organized here. All right. I'm gonna do it again. Yep. 
So afraid of hitting that post that still not going to do it this time, I don't think. Got it for sure this time. There we go. They get out of here. Set the parking brake. Turn off the four-way flashers. And disconnect our trailer. Hi there, you have it. Job complete. Excellent. Just delivered from Colomar to Stockholm. 324 kilometers an hour and nine minutes. Give or take. 137.1 liters of fuel. Our 124th world of truck world of trucks contract completed. We got our base reward. We got our proficiency bonus. We got our long distance delivery bonus. And we got our trailer maneuvering bonus. So we made 16,523 euros and 445 experience points there you have it hope you enjoyed the trip and if you did remember thumbs up comments suggestions feedback greatly appreciated subscribe if you desire uh we're only like nine eight hundred and something away from what we need uh and again i hope you enjoyed the trip i thank you for watching and that's going to be the end of this particular video